Hello everyone, welcome back to some more From the Depths. Welcome back to the Vehicle Designer, where there's nothing except a giant battleship in the middle of nowhere, which we're not gonna use for today. So let's get rid of everything. There we go. We're gonna be building a small resource boat today, which is gonna be hanging back, relaxing, all that jazz. Let's get started, shall we? This is gonna be a small little speedboat-esque thing. I'm gonna try and work with some hydrofoils to make sure that we can actually have this take up as little drag as possible. And since we don't need any... It's not gonna see combat, let's just put it that way. So we're just gonna focus on things like making sure that it doesn't weigh a lot and it's easy to mass produce. We're going to go over to raw storage here, and we're just going to do the most important part of the ship first, the cargo area. We're going to make sure that we have enough space to carry lots of goodies. There we go. That is already a hundred sixty thousand resources, but I have a feeling we might be able to get some more out of it. We're not going to go too big, I want to keep this fairly small, because that is pretty useful in my opinion, so there we go. That is 320k of each resource, we can stack some miscellaneous storage over here for 352k. And what the hell, we'll, we'll close this area up at some point, so we'll just double it up. There we go. It's gonna make it a little heavier on this side, but that doesn't really matter that much. We'll try to balance it out like that. It's gonna look incredibly wonky, but that's okay. We could also fill these areas up with crystal storage, which is not a bad idea since we will be using a lot of crystals. There we go, we'll pack it as full as we can. And then we have four spaces left. Actually, we have three spaces left. We'll get some natural. We'll get some metal. Get some oil. And we'll get some scrap storage over there. So now we have nearly 600k of every resource at the very least. We can probably fill that up. There we go, 608k and 688k worth of resources. It looks like crap, but that doesn't matter. There we go, we're gonna build a wooden wall around it so it doesn't look as terrible. Trademark. And then we'll place some wood over here. We'll try to make it look good, but no promises of course. This might actually end up looking like a baked potato on jet skis. Which, for the record, I'm completely okay with. This is just something meant to have off camera to do resource transactions and transportation. And the main goal of this is just to be fast. That's all. I don't really care about looks too much, which is good because this is gonna look like crap. Try and round it off nicely, at least. Just got a thought, we might be able to cram some more in there if we... Uh, I don't know, if we do it a certain way, we might be able to fill it up in the nose a bit more. That might be interesting. Uh, do we want to get some slope twos? Now, what I think I'll do is um, we'll run some wood beams down here so that we can run something off of here. And then we'll just... Actually, do we wanna... I wanna try this, just for looks. Just to see how terrible it would be. 
have something like this. And then just round it off. Oh, like that. That seems okay enough. We'll get a wooden slope down. Well, it's not completely even. It sort of annoys me. I'm not gonna lie. Oh well. Nothing to do about that now. Just get some wood blocks out here. Have it not look awful, if at all possible, that would be great. No, not like this. I hate how these wooden blocks just don't want to look good. I want to have this texture, not like... It's just no changing it, unfortunately. That's too bad. Because I... Have trouble accepting that. We'll just go for something like this then and that hopefully that'll look better. So of course it doesn't. You know what? I will just leave it like that. It looks okay enough. I'm not sure we can get rid of these, but we can get rid of some of them. There we go. Space for extra resources. So of course we will cram that in, and then get some more over there. Raw resources, get some metal. I think we'll get oil tank there, scrap over there. Now we have 768k of each resource, which is, you know, it's getting there, it's getting substantial. It's not bad. Now we'll just get, uh, we'll just fill it up with small storages. This should work. And yeah, nearly 800k of each resource now. The wooden potato. Not bad. We'll be able to cram some more things in the back over here as well. You can only store half of these, and it's annoying. Oh well. Um, just not sure how one I like. We'll have to include a power plant somewhere. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make this like that. And we're gonna make some wooden slope down to make it look sort of more attached to the vehicle, I think. We'll get a uh, wooden triangle corner. Like that. That looks decent. And we're gonna add some hydrofoils onto here. Ooh, new texture, I think. And we're gonna get a control block somewhere. Automated control block, there we go. Stick it in there, because why not? On spawning, I'd like the hydrofoils to be at... 20 degrees angle. Now what we're gonna do next, is we're gonna take this... We're gonna... Place it over here, and then we're gonna do the same... Thingamajig. All around, like that. Get the wooden triangles out. There we go, and then we're going to place more hydrofoils over here. And then hopefully, it should help us remain afloat. And above the water, etc. Test all of that. What I think we'll do is we'll add some propellers on the bottom here. Uh, water, not air. Ooh, new texture. I haven't seen that one yet either. Pretty cool. Okay, so that's just there for the sake of it. We'll add a temporary test controller on top of here. Just get a nice, comfortable chair. Which is never a thing I thought I'd say in 
in this game, and there we go. We're now with a boat. Floats. Not really. Pretty really terrible floating, come to think of it. Might have to add an air pump in here, and then close it up just to see if that actually helps. I think it does, yeah. Okay, good. So, uh, let's get a temporary engine in here. Just process resources. Get some fuel storage tanks. This is just a test, like, if my concept here is actually going to work. And if it does, we'll be able to add some jet engines to it. And they'll be working at full efficiency, etc. So hopefully that'll help us get somewhere in the end. That's an exhaust, not what I need. Fuel engine generator, followed by a crankshaft, followed by a cylinder. With a carburetor and a supercharger. Then we're gonna get some turbochargers. Right, so we do have an engine now. It does provide us some power. Excellent. Right, we have to press T to go forwards, and we immediately start angling up a little bit, which helps. But, I mean, we do not quite have the, uh, the forwards thrust yet. And like this, yeah, we... Well, we're actually slowly getting somewhere, but... No. No, what we need is a bunch of jet engines at the back. There we go, we'll go into... Actually, we can just allow these to fire... It's, it's a button in V, okay, there we go. Jet use in air mode and water mode, there we go. And we are instantly face planting, so... Our control block over here, let's go to 40 degrees. And get all that facing back up. I think it might be that the uh, hydrofoil isn't forward enough. In which case we'll take a quick prefab. It's over here, like length and width will be three. There we go, and the height will be four. We're gonna go off and get rid of all of that stuff. We'll get this prefab in here. And just as a test, we'll place it over here. See if that helps. Now I know I'm building something incredibly top-heavy and I probably should add more supports or something, or I don't know. I really expect um experimented much with uh, hydrofoils yet. I think it might also be a good idea to put some more weight at the back. It looks pretty front heavy right now. I do like how you can now see like, yeah, center of mass is right over there. So we are definitely pushing it down, which doesn't help. This might help. Placing the thrusters more down so that they are below the center of mass and technically pushing it up. Technically. Also might help is just adding a beam over here. It's quite buoyant. Now, this is just another test. I don't expect anything to come of this, but uh, yeah. It's fun to mess around with for once. I'll say that much. We have got it to point upwards more, but now our jet engines are underwater and we don't have enough thrust. So instead we'll do more jet engines, I think. What we really need is enough forward velocity 
to not get drowned all the time. It's a tough life when someone has to try it. Yeah, I don't think we quite have enough engine power here. So, what we're gonna do is fuel engines. The fuel hungry injector. Hello. Right, there we go. Forwards, my friends, to victory. Let's try something else. Instead of a bunch of small engines, let's get a big one. It definitely increases our speed, which helps. Alright, this should help. Being dragged down once more, which is a little bit annoying. I think it's just our speed at this point, though. I don't think the hydrofoils are helping much anymore. Yeah, I might just have to take a refresher on uh, how to best work with hydrofoils, etc. Actually, you can see that slowly lowering the engines does help a little bit. It's a bit janky right now, but I mean, it's supposedly controllable. Oh look, it's actually... It's actually working now, sort of. Sick. See, this is what I'm going for. Awesome. It's gonna be a pain to get going, but hey, it only has to look good and theoretically work in my opinion, that's all. And it looks okay, sort of like a potato that's just on jet skis, which is the uh, aesthetic I was going for, let's be honest here. Skiing potato. Never thought we'd see it, but science is a monster. What can I say? We're now flying out of control. So yeah, I'll probably finish this off at the beginning of next episode, and then we'll do some fighting, or at least spawn it in the campaign or something. Because as it stands, I'm a little low on time, unfortunately. It's quite late, and I still have a bunch more to do, and then stream, but yeah... I hope you enjoyed this uh, rare look in a insane guy's mind where we build more awesome things in From the Depths. So if you enjoyed this building episode, then please do leave a like down below for the, uh, the wooden potato. If you have anything to say, don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. And if it's a fun comment, I might respond, because I like responding to people. And if you want to see more From the Depths, why not subscribe? I've got a lot more. Anyway, until next time, have a good one, folks.